Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to sketch a crane hook in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. Choose front plane, sketch. Select center point arc and draw one circle. Okay. Again draw one more circle. Now exit. Now select origin point this point and this point make same position assign radius 90 degree and outer one keep 190 degree ok now choose center line and draw one vertical line from origin point Keep the length 443 mm Draw one more line Exit Now select this point This line, mid line and this point And select, click here symmetry now it is in center point now assign dimension from top 203 mm ok now choose 3 point arc and draw one arc ok now the same arc from here to this point ok now select this both the lines and choose tangent ok now select this distance and this line coincide the same as this circles and this lines coincide that means in one line now we will assign distance radius keep r88 and this one keep 190 mm ok now again choose 3 arc point exit now select both the points tangent the same as here select this circle and this point tangent ok now click this one and this both arc and select equal now assign radius 152 mm okay draw a circle here okay and keep the radius 12 mm twenty four mm ok now select this circle and this line make tangent relation this line and this tangent relation just drag outside choose trim entities and trim unnecessary outer part ok select center line and draw a center line Again choose a line and draw one midline. Exit. Select this line. Construction. Now again choose center line and connect it. Exit. 
and one from this center to here again choose center line this point to this point exit so now this geometry all now we will do some modification here choose trim and cut this half portion now select three point arc connect these two points okay now select this point and this circle tangent the same as here this circle and this arc tangent okay now everything is defined so just exit choose 3d sketch and now we will sketch some circles so choose circle and select the midpoint of this line just tap and change the direction up to this point select this circle make tap up to this point midpoint of this up to end point up to this point up to this point and here also up to this point now exit now these are the circles we created this is actually path for the crane hook now exit go to surface select boundary surface select first ok second ok third ok fourth ok fifth ok now click direction right click selection manager choose this this path ok now again choose right plane selection manager select this line and this line ok now select ok now see this is our one part is ready now again choose boundary surface just uh, right click on this show this all diagrams now click boundary surface okay then select this one okay now go to path right click selection manager select this line clear selection manager choose this path and a half portion of this ok now again click right click selection manager select this line and the balance of half ok this one you can choose tangent to face normal to profile no choose none choose none select ok now do it little adjust edit
this downward choose tangent to face normal to profile cancel it Uh, better we will keep normal everything okay now hide this hide this also now select planar surface choose this edge okay choose knit surface select this body this body and top surface try to form solid okay now select this face sketch choose circle and draw a circle from midpoint keep diameter 76 mm select extruded boss and extrude up to 203 mm okay This is our solid body. Now choose chamfer. Select five mm. Okay. Choose cosmetic thread. Select this edge. choose iso select blind and here choose One fifty mm. Now, detailing. Click shaded cosmetic thread. Okay. Now see, the cosmetic threads are looking here. And this one we need to little modify. Edit. This portion select. tangent to face here also choose tangent to face and this portion select up to end choose okay now this is perfect so this is the our crane hook you can design define any color or anything it's up to you I hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching